All right, this morning we are talking about dry skin. We all enjoying these much cooler temperatures, but with these cooler temperatures, fall and winter, we get the dry conditions, and the, you know, that just affects all of us and our skins. Joining me this morning, Dr. Melanie Palm, thank you for being with us. Oh, thank you. It's always a pleasure. I was thinking of you the other day. I washed my hands so many times changing so many diapers, and mm -hmm. I was actually using my son's Aquaphor on my hands because they're so dry, and that's really the only thing that works. Well, you you could be a dermatologist, <laughs> and you're doing the right things. You know, we're in that transition period. The temperatures are finally cooler, but that means lower humidity. So we wanted to talk to the viewers a little bit about sort of tips they can do at home to keep their skin moisturized, and yeah. then things we can do to keep the skin so glowing. If you're not in front of your TV, get in front of it right now. Let's start with this, uh, the face. What yeah. should we do? What can we do? So we're sort of transition zone. If you got a little bit of sun or summer sun, we wanted to, it, we're almost at Thanksgiving time, we wanted mm -hmm. to show you a pumpkin peel. Mm -hmm. And so this can be done on the face. It smells so yummy. It's actually got a little bit of glycolic. And the pumpkin enzymes actually sweep away that dead skin that we get with dry sort of winter skin and there's vitamin A in it which is really important for skin health and it's also a great uh, source of vitamin C that's a cofactor for collagen growth it helps with pigmentation it does a lot of fantastic so you would things. just apply this over your face and how long would you leave it on you usually leave it on 15 to 20 minutes and then let it rinse off and so you really enjoy the pleasure of the smell mm. and the aroma in addition to the good stuff that the um, peel is actually maybe doing it tastes good too <laughs> it's tasty. I know there's some peels that you can actually eat as well because it's all made out of natural stuff. What else do we have? You were talking about dry skin and mm -hmm. so it's so important if you're somebody prone to eczema or dry skin, think about getting actually a humidifier, especially in your bedroom. That'll help humidify the ambient hair, air and it'll help keep the skin a little bit more hydrated than usual. But like you were mentioning with frequent hand washing, you're changing mm -hmm. diapers, you really have to be careful about sealing moisture. So think about sort of rich creams ointment based sort of products such as aquaphor even plain old vaseline are really helpful for sealing in um, the moisture and make sure you're doing that every time that you wash especially along your elbows and your knees get so dry yeah and look for things like glycolic acid or maybe a little lactic acid in some of that because that'll help with the thickened skin but also even though the temperatures are dropping we're still in sunny san diego so make sure that you're protecting yourself with sunscreens look for ones that have hyaluronic acid that'll give you a little more moisture for your skin mm -hmm. and then finally we wanted to talk a little bit about a device to help get the skin glowing too. Yeah, if you got maybe a little too much sun during the summer, mm -hmm. now you want to make it glow, there's a device, uh, you're going to demonstrate how yeah. it works and what it does. So this is the M22, it's an IPL device, it also has a platform that has a laser on it. So the IPL goes after brown and red in the skin, typical sun damage, but the one that we'll demonstrate on Ivana, our model here, actually goes after skin texture, it helps with fine lines, wrinkles, even acne scarring. So I was just going to do a quick little demo on it. A full um, face only takes about 12 minutes to do, so okay. it's really fast. Right. And we just do topical numbing, so you can see it's super easy and quick. Again, just a few minutes to actually mm -hmm. do the face. It's super popular on the face. We do a lot of it on the neck, the hands, the chest to rejuvenate the skin. You get a little bit pink, a little bit swollen, but you can wear makeup right afterwards. Well, how fast can you see results? So it's done as a series of monthly treatments, usually three to four, but I'll be honest, I've had three of these and I noticed a difference after one. Really? Yeah. Wow. Okay, so it's a series of treatments. It is, and it's an infrared laser, so it relies on heat energy to build collagen over time, and that's what helps stimulate the skin to help with textural improvement. So if you have some stubborn moles, does it go, can you go after moles as well? It doesn't really go after or? moles, although sometimes I'll remove moles, and then we use this to soften the scar appearance. Okay. For scar therapy, I actually use this laser a lot. It's got wide applications as far as improving skin texture. Perfect. So all your beauty tips here to keep mm -hmm. your skin glowing the holidays. Dr. Melanie Palm, thank you for thank being with you. us. All right. Coming up next on San Diego 6 in the morning, we will continue to update you on that breaking news out of Paris. It's now late in the evening there, and the first of three days of national morning, we will take you there. Brooke.